So I'm going to demo how to set up and calibrate the metabolic card. Uh, you'll need this for VO2 max testing and for indirect calorimetry. So we have all of our pieces in place here. Uh, we have a, a three liter syringe. We have our tube and a three way valve uh, that attaches to a mouthpiece. The other end of the tube is connected to the bottom of the metabolic card here. Um, the way that we put the tube onto the three-way uh, mouthpiece or valve um, is important. So because this is uh, one directional, the individual is going to be breathing from the center of the tube or from the center of the three-way valve. So you can think of it as the middle of the T. Um, they're breathing in air from the outside environment through this white end. So the tube goes on the clear end. So the way that I tell my students to remember this is clear goes on clear, just like this. And this ensures that we're breathing in air from the atmosphere and breathing it out into the metabolic part. We're gonna stick the ends that the person is breathing on onto our three liter syringe because the three liter syringe is supposed to be mimicking the individual's uh, inspiration and expiration. So it goes on just like that. I'm going to open up the software for the metabolic cart, which is True One. And then on the left hand side here, uh, we have flow meter calibration and gas calibration. So the flow meter calibration is the one we're going to do first. So I'm going to click on that. This maintenance reminder pops up. We're going to click OK, just to ignore that. And then this window pops up, giving you the option to change the temperature, the humidity, and the barometric pressure. Um, so we get this from the readout on the um, panel there. So it's 16% humidity. 27 degrees Celsius and 596 barometric pressure. And then I'm going to click sample baseline. This window pops up. <clears throat> You'll see a number of different things here. On the left hand side, there's a detection stroke that will light up yellow here when I do the detection stroke. Four flushes and then the actual strokes that will be used to calibrate the metabolic part. And so the five detection strokes uh, also show up here on the right hand side in these lighter blue boxes. There's a very small thin one at the bottom and they get a little bit larger as you go up. The purpose of these strokes is to um, change the rate at which pushing the air out into the metabolic cart because we want to get a number of different flow rates for the machine to calibrate to because your breathing rate changes the uh, harder you work uh, in a, a VO2 max test. So we want to capture the full range of uh, breathing rates with this calibration. So I'm going to start um, by pulling the syringe out and then pushing it back in. And that gives me the first detection stroke. And then there are four flushes. So this is the first one. Two. Three. And you'll notice the yellow line will um, show the expiration and that changes based on the rate at which I'm pushing the, the syringe out. So now the machine has detected the first stroke and the four flushes. Now it's going to actually count my um, strokes uh, as part of the calibration. So I'm going to aim to get this yellow line in between each of these boxes here. So I push out and then very slowly push it in. And 
that's the very first detection stroke uh, or very first calibration stroke. And so that box at the very bottom just disappeared and changed into a, a yellow dotted line. So I'm gonna do it again, just a little bit faster. And that gives me the next one. And so each time you hit where you're supposed to hit, that box goes away. Number three, it's a little bit faster. Number four. And the last one, number five, is the fastest. Okay. So on this uh, next window, after we've completed the calibration, uh, this pops up the average volume is the value we want to look for, uh, 2.983. So we want that value to be between 2.95 and 3.05. So plus or minus 50 milliliters of volume of inspired or expired air uh, for the proper calibration of this uh, machine. Because this is a three liter syringe, we want it to be as close to three liters as possible. One thing to keep in mind when you're doing the calibration, you want to pull all the way out before you push in. If you pull, if you pull out uh, three quarters of the way, you're going to get three quarters of the volume and the reading is going to be different and that's going to throw off your calibration. So we want to pull all the way out before we push back in. So the next thing we need to do to ourselves for our VO2 max test is to calibrate the uh, gases. So we, we want the, the cart to be able to detect changes in the amount of oxygen and CO2 that we are expiring um, because that gives us an idea of how hard the, the individual is working from a, a metabolic perspective. Uh, and so in order to do that accurately, we need to calibrate the, the gas analyzers that are in the metabolic so to do that, we are going to click on the gas calibration tab here on the left-hand side. Uh, again, this maintenance reminder pops up. We're going to ignore that for now. The uh, room temperature, barometric pressure, and relative humidity uh, window all pops up again. This is the same as it was before, so I'm going to leave it there. I'm going to press OK. And then it's asking me to turn on gas cal to 3 PSI counterclockwise to 90 degrees. So the gas tank is over here on the left hand side. I'm just going to turn this on. I'm going to rotate it 90 degrees so that's on and then I'm going to click OK and it's just going to sample uh, atmospheric air and uh, air from this tank that's in here. So the difference is atmospheric air is approximately 21% oxygen and approximately 0.03% CO2. On the, the, from the gas tank, it's a different percentage. So it's about 16% oxygen and about 4% CO2. Now the reason we're doing both atmospheric and the gas tank is because we want to be able to detect these changes uh, in expired air. And those gases, uh, those percentages are approximately what someone who's exercising heavily will be breathing out uh, in, in a VO2 max test. Okay, so the um, window pops up to turn off the gas calibration, so I'm just gonna rotate this back to 90 degrees to turn it off, and then I'm gonna press okay, and this window pops up. So on the left-hand side, it's saying room air, or atmospheric air, and then standard gas is the gas from the gas tank. Uh, and then this is giving the oxygen reading that it should be 20.93%. And the um, oxygen percent that it should be from the standard gas, which is 16%. The CO2 reading from the atmosphere should be 0.03% and from the standard gas tank should be 4%. Now on the right hand side are all four of those values that it is actually measuring. So the reading for the oxygen at uh, room air, 20.99, which is pretty close to uh, what atmospheric conditions should be. 
and CO2 is 0 0.032, which is right on uh, target. The reading for the oxygen from the tank, 16.1%, which is a little bit high, and CO2 is 3.95, which is a little low. But these are still within the range of a good calibration, so we're going to accept it, click Save, and that is that for uh, metabolic heart gas calibration.